Hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again and today we are going to talk about Workhorse once again. Now, I know guys, I know that I should be talking about other stocks and other businesses as well on this channel. But I just love this company so much that I cannot simply stop talking about it. <laughs> no guys, yes, I do love this company a lot. In fact, today's video will give us one more reason to love this company or fall in love with this company even more. But the main reason behind today's video is that this valuable information just came out last Friday and I thought that this information must be shared out with you guys, especially for those who are planning to open up a position in this company and thinking about not missing up on this opportunity. So I thought, Everything should be at one place for those people out there or those investors plus for those as well who are like me who are already invested in Workhorse and they need all these updates recent updates to plan their strategy regarding Workhorse. And guys if you find this content valuable then please hit destroy smash that like button because that helps the YouTube algorithm plus in turn it helps me to promote this channel out there to those who need this information. And if you haven't subscribed the channel yet then please subscribe the channel as well to get all the juicy updates and information about the stock market plus real estate as well so now let's just jump into the facts so like we know that workhorse has been on absolute fire in 2020 and workhorse stock has already skyrocketed by 825 percent this year on the back of abundant investor optimism like you and me with respect to the company's ability to disrupt the last mile delivery market with a next generation electric delivery van and this article which was out on friday says that this optimism about workhorse is definitely not misplaced and like i have discussed this in my last video or mentioned in my last video that there's a huge upside potential for workhorse right from here at this from this point and because all transportation is getting electrified the last mile delivery market represents a very big and a highly attractive disruption opportunity in this electrification wave workhorse is the best in this breed solution to lead this disruption and while workhorse has run up a ton in 2020 like we saw before 865 percent approximately there's a plenty of upside left in the name over the next few years because the last mile delivery market is huge of around 18 billion dollars like we have already discussed this plenty of times and workhorse is still a really small company with a market capitalization of just 2.7 billion dollars so buy workhorse stock and hold it for the long haul like I have mentioned in my previous videos as well and the analysts are also saying the same thing. So there were some positive points mentioned in this recent article pointing towards potential market gains and opportunities for workhorse as an EV vehicle. So the first point is that the consumer demand is finally shifting. What it means by that is that the young consumers nowadays are getting much more aware about the environment and are getting educated on the effects of the greenhouse emission gases or the carbon emissions. So a survey was done in 2018 which said that 91% of the millennials are considering buying an electric car for their next vehicle purchase and these young consumers are just now starting to come into jobs and have a ton of purchasing power. Over the next decade, they will increasingly drive auto market demand and if all of them want EV, then it's easy to see how EVs take over the passenger car market from a demand perspective in 2020s. And when such news are on the float, that means when the consumers are interested in EV cars, then they will buy EV cars no matter what. But then there are a class of consumers who don't want to drive EV cars, but they would have to drive EV cars eventually. That means there lies a significant opportunity for companies like Workhorse. And like the statistic shows the increase in the carbon emission over the past years, so this only means that there's a huge need to reduce these carbon emissions and that in turn means that electrification of transportation will play a huge role in over next 10 years. So that in turn means that buying work costs or investors investing in work costs or other EV stocks have the opportunity to play a role or to participate in this electrification mega trend. And since we are talking about opportunities, the last mile delivery market represents a huge opportunity, guys. About 80% of freight in the US is transported less than 250 miles, whereas the average EV vehicle has about 300 mile driving range, which means the EV technology is already good enough to almost 
fully replace legacy vans in the last mile delivery market. And apart from that, the most important thing, the online retail company like Amazon and the big logistic companies like UPS and FedEx and so forth are already feeling increased socio-political pressure to go green. That means further much more opportunities for companies like Workhorse. And thus the demand is shifting towards the supply of good enough viable replacements like Workhorse. And in the US alone, more than 350,000 last mile delivery vans are sold every year at an average sales price of $50,000, which means there is an addressable market of 18 plus billion dollars. So, like we said before and have discussed many times, the workhorse is set to disrupt this $18 billion market. And why workhorse? Well, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, that this niche of last mile delivery market is quite specific. Not small, but specific. And workhorse has created a last mile EV delivery solution, which is kind of robust. And the workhorse C-series electric delivery vans are already more fuel efficient than diesel trucks, first of all, with 40 miles per gallon gas equivalent versus 6 miles per gallon for a traditional UPS truck, they are already much cheaper with 65% lower operating cost per mile. And the second reason why those big logistic companies like UPS, USPS or FedEx or those giant online retail players like Amazon should be choosing Workhorse? Well, because of this specific reason which recently came out last week. So Workhorse presented their test results last week and showed that the Workhorse 2020 model year C1000 extended range achieved a maximum of approximately 160 miles per charge. And guys, achieving this 160 mile range is a huge milestone for Workhorse because this then expands the addressable market for Workhorse and makes Workhorse the only purpose-built last mile EV delivery truck with a lightweight design and a smaller battery pack configuration even compared to other EVs or its competitors and thus makes Workhorse one of the most efficient and effective trucks out there. And like I said guys, that this is a huge milestone because with this vehicle range, and keeping the production cost in line with competitors, which is another really good point, they have opened up a huge range of possibilities in suburbs and rural locations. And apart from that, in addition, the related charging and infrastructure costs are now even much more low, which will further reduce the total cost of ownership for potential customers. So now you guys must be wondering, what is my return on this investment? Well, let me show you some numbers. So here's the numbers game guys. So like we saw before that there are approximately 350,000 delivery vehicles produced every year in the US market. That gives us a total addressable market of $18 billion considering an average truck price of $50,000. Now if workers can just get 10% of this market share with an average truck price of $75,000 and an operating margin of 15% that gives us a net profit of $300 million approximately and applying now the same principle to the market cap the future market cap which is uh, the same like it is applied now at this time which is 20 times the future sales then that gives us the future market cap of $6 billion which is more than double the current market cap now guys this is the analysts are just being quite conservative. Now, if we say in a good case scenario, not the best, but a good case, if workers can nab 20% of the total market share, then that gives us a market cap of $12 billion, guys, which is four times the current market cap. So with this, I guess it is quite clear to understand the upside potential of workhorse from here at this moment. And I hope that this would help you guys to realize the potential in this particular company and in this business. And that's it for today, guys. I hope that you really found this information valuable and uh, will help you to make this decision process much easier. And that's what I'm here for. And that's it for today, guys. So see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and ciao.